Welcome to the Bravura Security Demo Series featuring Bravura Safe. A great place to start with Bravura Safe is to add and manage logins. Login items are most often used to store username and password combinations. They also support time-based one-time passwords, or TOTP. Let's start from Gary's My Safe view and explore folders. Login items can be organized into folders. Folders are structures used to organize your personal safe by gathering together logins, cards, identities, and secure notes. Folders that you create are only visible to you and are not seen by other users or team members. Using folders is a great way to make all items easy to find. I'll go back to the All Items filter. Any existing safe item can be added to a folder, including items shared with you from a team. To add an item to a folder, select an Items checkbox. Click the upper gear drop-down. Select Move Selected to Folder. Select the Destination folder. I'll leave the Frequently Used folder. And then click Save. Let's confirm the item was moved to the selected folder. The Shared Cheat Sheet Secure Note item was successfully moved to Gary's Frequently Used folder. Folders can be created, renamed, and deleted from any Bravura Safe client application. To create a folder using the Bravura Safe web application, click the Add Folder icon beside the Folders Filter section. Add a folder name and click Save. Click the corresponding pencil icon to rename or delete a folder at any time. Now that we have a folder, let's add a login item to it. If you want the new login item to be added into a folder when you create it, select the folder first before adding the item, but this is optional. Then click Add Item. Ensure that Login is selected for the type. The folder is already selected because of where we started. Enter a recognizable name for the item. This will help you easily identify items in your safe. Next, enter the credentials for the login you want to secure. The username and the password. For now, enter the existing password. We'll use the password generator to replace it with a stronger one later. Click here to check if your current password has been exposed. Where applicable, enter the authenticator key or time-based one-time password by copying the secret key, typically available as an alternative to a QR code, from the website or app and pasting it into the field. Once set up, Bravura Safe Authenticator will continuously generate six-digit TOTPs rotated every 30 seconds, which you can use as a secondary step for two-step login to connected websites or apps. If this login item is for a website, Enter the URL address of the Website Login page in the URL1 field. This field is required if you want to use autofill capabilities in Bravura Safe apps. To confirm you have the correct URL, navigate to the website's login page and copy it from the address bar. Then return to Bravura Safe and paste it into the URL1 field. The Match Detection option determines when Bravura Safe will offer the login as an available option for autofill by matching against specific parts of the URL. You can add notes to a login item, create custom fields, and specify ownership to share the item with a team and collection. To add an item to your favorites for easy access, select the star icon. Depending on the client application you're using, favorites will appear either at the top of your My Safe view or in the Favorites filter. For added protection of individual items, enable the Master Password Reprompt option to require verification of your master password before allowing access or autofill of sensitive stored items. Then click Save to add the new login item to your safe. Now that a new login item has been added to your safe, you can improve its security by replacing the existing password with a stronger one. 
Click the login item's name to open it for editing. In a new tab or window, open the corresponding website and log into your account. When the URL1 field is filled in, you can click the launch icon to open it directly from your safe. After logging in, navigate to the area where you can change your password. Most websites will require you to enter your current password first. Navigate back over to your safe and click the Copy button next to the password field of your login item. Then, back on the website, paste it in the current password field. You might have the old password memorized, but it's a good idea to use the copy-paste to avoid errors. Next, the new password. Going back to your safe, click the Generate Password icon next to the password field. You'll be asked whether you want to overwrite the current password. Click Yes to proceed. This will replace your password with a randomly generated strong password. Copy the generated password from the safe using the Copy button. Then save the changes to the login item. Don't worry about overwriting your existing password and saving a new one. If something goes wrong, Brevera Safe maintains a password history for the last five passwords for every login. Now back on the website page, paste your new strong password into the new password field, and then confirm the same again. Once you save the password change on the website, you're finished. Let's return to Gary's safe and take a quick look at the password history that I mentioned earlier. Open the login item and scroll to the bottom of the page. Here you'll find password change history details. To view previous passwords, click on the number link. I'll click Cancel to close the Edit Item page. For every password or other secret that you may have saved in a web browser or alternate password manager, you don't have to manually add each new item in Brevera Safe. From the Tools view, Brevera Safe provides a data import tool. For easy migration, from many popular password management solutions to your personal safe or a team safe. From a filtered item list in the My Safe view, you can quickly launch a website, copy login credentials and verification codes, and view and add attachments. By clicking the gear drop-down for an unshared item, you can clone the item to create a duplicate, move it to a shared team and collection, or delete the item altogether. For shared items, again indicated by the collection name, you can edit the collections that an item is being shared with, or delete the item. By selecting the checkbox for one or more items, and clicking here, you can move the selected items to a personal folder move them to a team and collection or again delete them deleted items are sent to the trash where they remain by default for 30 days after deletion. You can select one or more items, click here, and restore them to your safe or permanently delete them prior to 30 days. After the default 30 days, trash items will be permanently deleted and not recoverable. This concludes our walkthrough for managing login items using the Bravura Safe web application. Thanks for watching. Bravura Security offers a range of demonstration and training options. Click the links in the description below to watch more demo videos or to register for training. Visit our website to learn more.